Slovakia has sent military aid to Ukraine by delivering Russian-made S-300 air defense systems. In a bid to assist the Ukrainian army resist the invasion, this comes a day after NATO alliance vowed to increase military support to Ukraine. Taking to Facebook, the Slovak Prime Minister Eduard Heger said that sending the defense system does not mean that Slovakia has joined the armed conflict in Ukraine. He further said that the military assistance was on the request of Ukraine. This will be the first time a country has sent an air defense system to the country. Earlier, Slovakia had promised to provide Ukraine the defense system only if the country received a substitute to avoid a security gap in the NATO alliance. Slovakia's president said that his country's security has also been met through this move. U.S. President Joe Biden hailed the decision and has promised to deploy a Patriot missile system to replace it. This will be the fourth Patriot system in Slovakia. Out of the other three, two were provided by Germany and one by the Dutch. I think you all saw the Secretary's statement uh, uh, expressing our gratitude to the government of Slovakia for their willingness to transfer uh, an S-300 uh, air defense missile system uh, to Ukraine. In that statement, he also uh, talked about um, uh, our uh, ability, willingness, and, uh, and uh, an upcoming um, provision uh, of a temporary deployment of a Patriot system into Slovakia uh, so that their air defense uh, can be uh, preserved. It's part and parcel of the larger effort that we've been doing now for quite some time to bolster uh, NATO's eastern flank and improve our deterrence and defense capabilities there. This is a temporary deployment of a Patriot system uh, while we continue to consult and talk to the Slovakian government about more longer term solutions. Slovakia was one of the countries which had warm ties with Russian President Putin, but his image has taken a dent since a continuous assault in January. Before the war, only f around 45% believed that Russia was responsible for the war, while it increased to nearly 62% a day after the invasion. Last month, the government allowed the presence of more than 2,000 NATO service personnel in Slovakia, which comprises a mix of Czech, Dutch, Polish, Slovenian, American and German soldiers. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.